go into IG and like change it. Okay, we're live, guys. So you can, you keep says, going. Oh, I just wanted you to know we were live. Mm -hmm. So every time that IG says Confederacy, it censors it and adds in like Kara going the rebellion over top of it or something. <laughs> um, just bad motivator IG, and then while he's out, you know, time down and reprogram him. Well, I'm not going to reprogram him. Well. It's mean. He's, like, almost sentient. I suppose. No no offense, IG. You're no, you should friend. totally reprogram him and make him have the personality of, like, Alfred from Batman. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I do declare, Master Cosket. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not doing that to IG. IG is his own droid. All right, folks, let's uh, roll for destiny. Oh, I forgot an overrider. That's a really good name for uh, the wayward spirit, but not something as big as an MC4. Oh, that, that does not bode well. There you go. Yeah. I'm the best. All right. I'll be with you here in just a second. All right. There we go. Can carry that Heck weight. Yeah. All high right. fives, Andon. I don't need a high five. Okay, fine. The force is in balance tonight. Aaron. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I will fight you, IRL. Don't do that because she'll start talking about fighting in the force. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if she fights you. I just don't want to have to listen to it. <clears throat> All right, as we get started tonight, uh, you find yourself aboard uh, your cruiser racing through hyperspace. You have received a urgent message from Masa C, who is uh, one of the higher-ups in Rebel Intelligence. He was the one that gave you your briefing last time. And uh, he's appearing for you again, uh, before you again, on your bridge on kind of a, a hologram that's kind of breaking up and, and coming back on and off. And he's telling you about uh, intelligence that was gathered from the data stick that was retrieved by the down rebel pilot you encountered in your last adventure. All right. And uh, he, you've, you've received instructions. You're supposed to be proceeding as quickly as possible toward a remote planet that is called M283. M283. Um, the intelligence, uh, he tells you, uh, has revealed from this, uh, from this data stick that uh, there's some kind of project that the Empire is up to on this planet. Uh, and the information they've decrypted shows that there's a, some kind of a droid robotics facility there. Uh, All right. it's, it's a remote planet. It's in a remote area. And to make things even more interesting, he says, they keep referring to somebody named Targon Koth. And anybody who wants to can make a warfare check on that. Well, I guess I'll try. Um, is the ship in good order now? Yeah, you're in, I mean, you, you, you're still going to get a lot of setbacks. Uh, because of your crew, but it's not anything like it was uh, the last time you had to Thank take goodness. it out. Are, are the guns and shields functioning? Yeah, everything is functional, but you still have a crew that's pretty raw. And how many? How difficult is the uh, warfare check? Uh, this is going to be a hard warfare check. How many people went through the airlock is what I need to know. Nobody <laughs> went through the airlock. What? <laughs> oh. How do you? It's a one in 144 shot. Well, I know everything but who this Dath guy is. Koth. 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 Targon Koth. Targon Koth. All right. I know a lot about Tarkin and a lot about Kothless, but I don't know anything about Targon Koth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to spend those triumphs on. I guess uh, I don't even know. Maybe I know some stuff about fighting droids. Maybe I remember to pack some ion weapons. In case it comes to that, I don't know. Well, <clears throat> I, I'm I vaguely remember looking up on that name and that it's he's a really prominent engineer. Um, 
I believe he's even back almost to the Clone Wars where, if I'm not mistaken, he's the engineer for our friend IG. And now, from, IG. from the 88 to the 99 series. Oh, wow. Were you like a Rathana head engineering joint or were you something else? No. Um, oh, who made the IG line? Was it Industrial Automaton? No, it was somebody different. I don't know, but I know that this Koth person is is definitely one of the chief engineers for that project. Can I can I do like a mechanics check uh, IG for was, all the nice info? The IG series was originally designed by Holloway or Holloway. You're a Holloway joint. All right. Yes, and they were taken <laughs> over by the banking clan. That's by their IG series. Oh yeah, oh, I knew good. a guy that worked there. <laughs> yeah, but about, I do believe this Targon Koth was actually one of the one of the prime engineers for him. So anyway, Masa C, hey, we're going to go meet your dad. Masa C so, goes uh, on. We're going to rebuild the Confederate Army now, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I agree with most of the words in that sentence. <laughs> um, oof. Masa C, he's a, a Celestian, and he only has so much patience for for uh, conversations that get too far off topic. And uh, he 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 uh, pulls you back in, and he says, uh, "We think that there's something pretty important that's going on here. We don't know exactly what it is or what they're up to, but now that they know this data has been exposed, they're probably going to try to uh, uh, to 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 shut down the facility and move as quickly as they possibly can and escape with their secrets." Uh, Who's they you, again? Is this the Empire? Or? The the Empire. Yes. Okay. This is an Imperial facility. It, you've okay. got Imperial intelligence about an Imperial robotics facility. I don't know why, but I was really expecting the line that they sent Bothans there and they all died. Many Bothans <laughs> went and died. No, no Bothans went and died. Uh, you almost had one pilot that, that died from it, but you managed to rescue her. Well, we can uh, kill a Bothan when we get there if we want for good luck. <laughs> got a reputation to maintain. <laughs> We have our legacy to consider. Like that, Andon, that, we are not killing Bothans. That comic strip where Eric Barr said he sent them to get coffee and they died. <laughs> so they, they estimate that we're talking about uh, uh, something in the range of about 70 troops deployed at the facility. Uh, what they can tell from the data they've gathered is there, there are probably multiple turrets that are uh, guarding the facility. Uh, and that there's some evidence that there are some heavy machinery, AT-ATs, ATSTs that are employed and deployed in the area as well. Uh, what he wants you to do is initiate an assault on the facility using the 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 uh, 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 using the resources that you have available. But he says that's not enough. Once you start the assault, they're going to try to get out. He wants you to get a team inserted inside the base as quickly as you possibly can. Um, e even while the battle's going on, uh, to see if you can't discover exactly what's happening there. Uh, he said, you've got about an hour, maybe uh, two hours before you arrive there to try to make some plans. And once you're there, you need to move very, very quickly. Do we, I didn't look at, do we have any ground crew or armor or any kind of ordnance on this thing? You, you don't have any kind of heavy ordnance. You do carry quite a few troops. You could probably quickly deploy about a hundred or so. Oh wow! And did we get a twelfth X-wing pilot since last time? Yes. Sweet. And, tell uh, me all about them. Just send me a post um, or something. Matt, is that my background? What's that? Twelfth that? pilot that we discussed. We can we can do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I didn't know. I didn't know uh, if that I'd, was who the twelfth one was. I yeah. Oh. I I have it, but yes, we can add your twelfth pilot into it if you want. Okay. Yeah, Sweet. that's fine. His name's uh, Jalen Oren. Cool. I didn't look at all. Do you have anything on the forums or anything, or is it just in here? Nope. No, this was background story I gave Matt. Ah, okay. I didn't know if it was your little PC or anything. Uh, no, it's that. It's not my MP, It's not my secondary. Uh, but he's part of my background story. It's Jason. It's Jalen Oli, as oh, in yeah. uh, Captain Obvious. Oh yeah. He's the son of. Rick <laughs> Um, um, Kara's like fidgeting right now, and it's like we really only have an hour to plan for this assignment. Hey, we've had less. Yes, you do, and you need to move very, very quickly. Masasi says, 
Are there any other questions that you've got? He's just kind of standing there with his hands, arms behind his back, uh, looking at each of you. Oh. So do they know we're coming now? They probably they they are probably expecting something coming down on them pretty quickly. They don't know it's you. They don't know what the vo what the volume of the force it, might be that would strike at them. But they know once this facility is exposed, and and the fact that it's just not well defended at this point uh, puts it at very high risk. We're we're sure they know that much. It's never this, well defended. This sounds like a suicide mission. Honestly, um, so I guess I guess we have an hour to prepare. So I guess we're gonna go do that now. So we can't even get to one end of the ship in an hour. <laughs> well, I guess we got to think fast. It's a seventy-person array. They can't have that many ties. So we're gonna have air superiority before too long. No, there's the fact that we, you know, we don't have the ordinance for any type of heavy bombardment, but it we can do definitely some suppression and harassment. So it's basically going to be a lot of strafing. Yeah, and if they've got a lot of turrets, then they can just if they don't have fighters, that means they can shoot at whatever's in the sky. So I'm hoping they have some, because that'll actually suppress all the incoming fire. Um. Uh -huh. It okay, comes down back. to if we br bring it in to do the artillery to take out the turrets and then your squadrons go in to do the strafing runs and suppress the situation and contain it. And so that way they're not, you know, exiting too ha r hastily. <sighs> and then we just have to move the ground troops in. And... Hopefully we have. Uh, do we have any type of um, <laughs> uh, logistics as to the building, like openings, things like that? What you know, so we can prepare the whether we're going to have to, you know, headlong or. He, he sent. <laughs> he sent you everything you've got on it. Uh, mm -hmm. it. That they've got on it. It's. It sounds like it's set into a jungle, kind of under some cover, uh, and it's set back up against. Uh, a lake and uh, so, so it backs up against a lake but uh, it faces into a jungle uh, there's uh, multiple entrances to it it's a fairly large facility like it would be measured in uh, uh, you know and, and yeah we, we also have acres to, and not not to the only problem is Aiden is you also have to contend with the ETs yeah I know and I'm wondering if there's and uh, ah. Uh, this is capable of atmospheric flight, right? Yeah, I, I, he said they got a lot of turrets, and I'm wondering what they mean by turrets. But yeah, the ship should be able to get down into atmosphere if we need it to. Um, let's hope they don't have ion turrets. I say but, we take it with us and just assault the base directly. It, it's a possibility, but if it backs up to a lake, they're not going to have a whole whole lot other than maybe artillery, so... Maybe a partial amphibious assault. Yeah, but I don't know if there's any way to get down from orbit to the surface without them knowing. That's the big question. The large ship, our ship, no. Do we but have like a ships, transport definitely. ship anywhere? Yeah, do we have anything shuttle-wise besides the Spirit? Yeah, as I mentioned a minute ago, you've got about you've got the ability to deploy about a hundred troops. Uh, quickly off of the off of the ship. You've got so that means the transports people, necessary to right? do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how many people do they think is on this base or whatever? They're estimating something around seventy Imperial troops plus some mech support in the form of ATATs and ATSTs that put kind of patrol the area. Yeah, I really would so not want what? to send send the full contingent out though. So what exactly do we need to get from this place? Uh, you need to find out what they're up to. We don't. We don't know that. It's, we know they're. They've got some project that's going on there. Do What's they the know rebels are coming, or they, they know somebody are coming because they know rebels now know about the base. Well, then why don't we do the same thing we did on whatever planet that was? Oh, with the with the Zell. Yeah. Just show up being imperial. Yeah. 
And freaking Criffing, like, go in there, figure out what's going on, and leave. And then we can send an actual, like, squad of people that know what they're doing with a better plan. <laughs> well, we don't have a Lambda shuttle, I'm assuming, or that would be a great plan. You do not have didn't, a Lambda shuttle. Didn't we shuttle. give the Alliance a Lambda shuttle? Yeah, but you don't have it with you. Shoot. Can I use, like, two destiny points for that? <laughs> you also gave the Alliance some disruptor pistols, and you don't have those with you either. Hey. I don't know. I've seen enough Star Wars to know Lambda shuttles are pretty easy to come by. <laughs> Except when you need one. I don't. Well, do we I, have I, anything on this ship that's vaguely Imperial? I'm beginning to think that no. I mean, although it's a great plan, I don't think we have the time to. You, you, you've got the white. You've got execute the it. Yeah, you've got the spirit, which is doesn't necessarily look rebel, quote unquote. Although it, by now it, you, you, <laughs> you've got, point, you I might think be they're... thinking there might be some risk that it could be identified by sight by some people. Well, okay. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to send people to their deaths going in basically blinded. Well, then I guess we're going first. Well, then we don't don't commit to a full out and solve. We'll just have to, you know, do some, you know, skirmishing probes. We'll have to do some recon and then figure out what we're doing. It's okay. We can just land there and I'll act like I know what I'm doing. Wait, they they make droids like IG there, right? You don't know that. You know that somebody that's been involved in making droids like IG in the past is present there. Can we pretend to ransom IG? We have your son. Point a gun at his head. Or, it, you know, they do the philosophical that he has important information that he will divulge to Mr. Koth. How secret is this facility? How about we do something really stupid, like put IG on the spirit and have him go by himself? No, have, like, okay, how I'm secret is that. this base? Because if Koskid pretends to be some uppity rich guy, like, there's a problem with my IG droid, and I need it fixed. This planet doesn't have a name, so I'm going to say pretty secret. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know, my only idea was to land and then uh, pretend like I'm overseeing the evacuation of the base. Yeah, but that's just encouraging them to leave. We'd have to show up and be like, hey, we're here to see if you need to evacuate. I think if we go planet side and scope things out or do something where we can figure out what's going on and avoiding a large confrontation with ATATs and ATSTs and troops and possible droids like IG, that would be a lot better. But we have much more firepower than they do. Come, but if, if we also, hit them right off the bat before they know what's going on, we can send in a squadron of X-Wings, follow that down with our ship, and bombard the crap out of them. And if it's destroyed, it's destroyed. Anything left, we can scoop in, snatch up prisoners, mm -hmm. and leave. Well, our, our, main, our primary is just to you know, not destroy the facility, but take out all their armaments yeah. first. Yeah, what kind of sensors we got on this thing? Oh, that's what right. I think this space is this planet in. It's in the outer rim. There we go. Jeez, Koska, don't you know a guy that works there? <laughs> uh, I know a hut. That owes me a favor. You're going to run out of favors to call in. Um. Uh, so we didn't. I, we didn't put sensor range in when we when or I didn't when I created it. Let that's, me go look. That's the only thing. It's in uh, uh, strongholds, I think. Yep. Um. Oh, that's probably a good reason. It's not listed. Yeah. Wow. Is it listed for any of these ships? I'm I'm going to say that um, you're going to have sensors that are going to be able to give you a rough idea about what you're dealing with once you arrive in the system, uh, but but they're not fine tuned for intelligence gathering purposes. Well, I mean, if we've got a good enough sensors, we might be able to launch torps from outside of uh, uh, 
turret range is what I was thinking. Um, let me do some research. Keep thinking. Can I just make a secure connection to my um, hut friend there and uh, ask for a favor or if he knows anything about the region that could help out? Uh, sure, yeah. So now you 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 have this connection you do this connection like anonymously, right? Um uh, it would have to be anonymous, anonymous from this ship, yeah, but that's the uh connection I got with that last uh rank up we had. Okay. Yeah, can you remind me of his contact. name? Well, there. I don't think we actually came up with a name. Okay. He's he's a hut. Yeah, I just wanted a contact with a hut where we had a working business relationship with one another. Okay. Contribution rank, yeah, that was it. All right, you're going to use your Noah guy thing on that, or or I, I think it's just a con gen general contact you guys a contribution rank. Yeah. Okay, yes, you can establish a connection with you, with, with this uh, guy, and he appears... Uh, looks like in kind of this uh, rundown building, there's uh, kind of these stone walls behind him that are kind of falling down a little bit. Uh, looks like a typical kind of crime lord type hideout. He's a little bit more small time than maybe some of the higher up uh, huts. And uh, he uh, looks at you and starts talking in this deep Huttese voice. Uh, Cosket, uh, it's good to hear from you. What can I, or you don't want to be identified as Cosket, do you, with this guy? Um, no. Okay. All right. So, uh, instead he says, uh, uh, so I see, uh, you've, uh, you wanting to contact me again, uh, uh, my friend, what's, what's going on? Uh, well, I'm going to uh, just ask if he has any general information about the planet in this sector and any knowledge of a base there and uh, about the droid manufacturing. I'm going to try to keep it vague, but he should have a clue if he knows anything about it, what I'm talking about. Uh, very strange. You'd be, you would be interested in a remote planet like that, he says. Um, we... I know almost nothing about it except that it's on our star charts. Uh, but there have been rumors in this sector lately. Rumors, you say? Yes, he oh, says okay. his kind of flabby arms kind of uh, gesture a little bit as he's talking. And he says, um, there have been stories about Imperial ships coming in and out of the sector from time to time. Yes, no one, no one knows what they're up to, though. Hmm. Okay, I take it that's pretty much all the information he has in it. That... Might he have access to some Imperial codes? Hmm. Why not? I'll ask. All right. Does he? Have, yeah, he's got Imperial codes or a uh, one of those Lambda shuttles laying around. All right, and he kind of looks at you, and he lets out one of those hut chuckles, this, that, ho, oh, 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 kind of thing. And uh, then he says, uh, co codes, yes, we've got access to, but nothing that's as high level as some of the things we've been reading from these ships that come through. Hmm. Well, aren't you full of disappointment today, my friend? <laughs> He says, call me back when you want information that's a little easier to uh, achieve, and I'll try to help you. Yeah, I'm just going to cut the signal. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, can Kara do her for C? Yes. Yes, she can. All right. <laughs> Nice. That's some good stuff right there. All right, so let's have a look at this. All right. All right, 
book fell open to it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, my Age of Rebellion falls open to the A Wing. So yeah, okay. Uh, so what what do we want to? I mean, you're gonna trigger the basic power. You've got to spend yep. one of those for that. Yep, and then I have, let's see, I have two things in strength and one thing in duration. So, okay. let's see here. Oh, where are my skills at? I'm the worst person ever. Combat, here we go. I have to, like, scroll through down all of this. Um... So I guess um kind of want to see what things are looking like. Can you hear me the Age of Rebellion? Or? Uh, Force and Destiny is not here. Okay, give me Age of Rebellion because I think it's an Age of Rebellion anyways. Uh, you're talking about the Foresee a power? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's it's for sure in the Force and Destiny. Oh, but that's the point. You don't have it. So what, what do you need help with? I'm looking at it right now. Oh, just like... How much can I do with that? Like, I can look into... Yeah, you can... So you... strength is a number of details equal to upgrades purchased per pip. Okay, so I have two in that and one in duration. You don't so... have to do duration if you want. No, duration is just... Another day. Another okay, day. We're, you can get up to a day We're going to be there advance. soon, so... So I can get two different details per one pip. Two details... Uh... Yeah, if you have two strength upgrades, you get two specific. You get you get the normal thing, and then you get f if you're spending th three pips, you're gonna get six details. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you find yourself uh, standing in something that looks like a laboratory with uh, all, all right. these parts kind of lying around all around you, and uh, there's some other people in the room. You can't really make out a lot about who they are. But you you find that you're intensely focused on a data pad that's sitting on a counter uh, there. That's that's the thing that you're looking at at this moment that flashes by you. And okay. That's that's all you got so far. Um. So that's what two three details. Uh, we'll we'll count that as how many how many can you get three, six. I can get six. You get six. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll count that as like a couple of the details. Yeah, I figured data pad, um, things everywhere, and then people with me. So that's three. Um, hmm. Can I... Let me see here. Is there any way that I can see what's on the data pad? At, at the moment, it's too far away from you. Okay. Uh, but... Um, you 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 do get a more of a sense that whatever's on it, yeah, whatever it does is pretty important. All right. Um, is there any way that I can possibly see anything that deals with ground troops or or um like flight troops? Like, is there something in my holocom going off about? Oh, we have you know X wing down or something or. Um, you you hear the sound of a battle uh, going on in the background uh, that includes what sounds like uh, some some fire from turrets and mech mechanized units, but and then also some fire from like personal blaster pistols, heavy blasters, that kind of thing, all, off of your comm link. Okay, is anybody that I'm with injured? Does this look like it's going to be very difficult for us to get into this place? Does it does it, does it look like you're in, uh, like, like anybody is like serious? Like you don't have a sense that anybody near you is seriously wounded, okay, or badly injured. Okay. Um. Okay. One more. Um. God, I wish there was a map in here that I could look at, and I could just see where the laboratory was. So we know where to go. Is there yeah. anything It'd like It'd be nice if like, there was a you are here, like when you walk into a yes! mall. And there's yes! a you are here kind of thing. Yeah, no, there's nothing Is like that. Is there anything though. like on the doorway or something that would be really noticeable? It might stand out. Well, you are standing... I mean, this is a very large room. And um, 
you you do notice that there's like a couple of different doors that lead into it, but okay. there's nothing that's that stands out. And, and I didn't help you much with that, so you can you can ask for another one. Okay. Um. Oh, jeez. Trying to think. I'm not very good at this. I'm not used to having six of them. Shoot, I could have had a uh, ten. So you get two extra details for each pip. Mm-hmm. Because she has two strength upgrades. upgrades. Yeah. If I if I spent those dark side points, that would have been eight, ten. Yeah. <laughs> Matt be like, no, <laughs> no. Here's a map. This is how you get there. <laughs> um. Um. Shoot, I have no idea. Who is it that's with you? You yeah, can I can I see can I focus on the people that are with me? Kind of maybe one or two of them. Uh. Sure, yeah. Um, one of them is an older person that you do not know who is uh, wearing a lab coat. Okay. And uh, he's, he uh, looks like a... Uh, he, he looks like a... Um, like a nerd? No, he looks like a, <laughs> a, a Zabrak. Okay. Not an and, evil one this time, right? And um, have you encountered a good Zabrak recently? No. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's I suppose they exist. I mean, yeah, they can be PCs, but but yeah. I mean, he 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 looks like um, uh, he, he looks like a bad guy. So much oh. alien racism. I, yeah, like oh wow. Another He's... bad guy. Another. Do I get like bad vibes from him? Is this going to be Kara's oh, yeah. trigger? Yeah, you're getting bad vibes from him. Okay, am I handcuffed? No. <laughs> so it's, it, it's your new boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. Kara's going to snap out of her vision like sweating bullets. If I had a, if I had a credit for every time I heard Kara talk about handcuffs and Zabrak. <laughs> because the last time I have a freaking vision with the Zabrak, I pass out, and then Enid's captured, and he still hasn't even called me back yet. This is you know, this, this does not strike you as a force user. Still, um, but this is my trigger. Okay. You know, Iraz in Ataru Squadron is from Iridonia, and she's the one that keeps like making cookies. So maybe you can tone it down a little bit. I got really bad vibes from this guy. Okay. But, okay, so this is what I saw. I see a laboratory. I don't know how to get there. I tried to look for, like, a map, but this isn't a mall back on Coronet City. Um, so I'm standing there. There's some battles. There's some some droids or something in the room just kind of hanging out, I guess. Um, there's a data pad I have to get to, but then there's this Sabrak standing next to me in a coat. And he didn't seem really good at all. And I heard battles going on, so I guess there's going to be some type of assault. And I'm apparently going to go in, so hooray for that with the Zabrak. Be on the lookout for... A, what color was the Zabrak? Wow. Taylor. Uh, it, 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 it's, it looked more akin to a flesh-colored type set. It doesn't have all the tattoos like uh, your okay. Inquisitor Okay, it's did. not black and red. No, no. And you still think he's evil. Gosh. No, I felt it. Well, okay. You know, if you, if you like, actually tried to train with me, Ann, and I could teach you how to do this stuff. You know, if you actually got to know the guy, you might not think he was evil. Maybe you should go hang out with your Oz. I'm not saying we... all Zabraks are bad. Oh, so he's one of the good ones? Ooh, Andon, I swear! How about we capture him and get to know him really well? <laughs> oh, IG, what you do in your spare time is up to you. <laughs> okay, so somehow I managed to, I don't know, convince the Zabrak to take me to the laboratory or I walk there. I don't I think I saw any of you guys there, but there are other people. We're like, probably out fighting, yeah, so let, it's okay. let, me, let me correct this. It, it wasn't clear to you. What it, there might have been other people that were in that are in the party that were present with you at that point. Yeah. It, it, it's but not I couldn't tell. clear whether you're by yourself or not. But somehow I managed. I'm not like, I didn't think I was like, handcuffed or anything, so I don't think I was taken prisoner. So that's good. 
But there's a laboratory in there we have to get into, and then there's a data pad. So, yeah. I'm going to go, like, sit down for a few minutes. Cool. So do we want, do we want me in an X-Wing, or do we want me on the ground with you guys? I'd rather you be on the ground so I can watch you, but... I can take care of myself. No, I can't... I can't really protect you when you're flying up there. I don't need you to protect me. I think I might be able to do more with Torps than with a lightsaber. Do you want my hover boots? You can fly up into an at, -AT and take it over and then give IG the guns. I couldn't even pass my driver's test. If IG ever got into Until an at, -AT, I, was I don't think he's coming out. Do you think I could really fly with rocket boots? It's it surprisingly easy. It would come home with me. <laughs> hey, not we probably got room on this thing. <laughs> Slap a red stripe on it so it doesn't get shot by our boys, and we got ourselves a nice little tank. I mean, if I was on the ground, that's what I'd be doing, is flying up into walkers, cleaning them out, and giving them to our people. So I can take an X-Wing and try to keep our people in the sky alive and give you guys support if somebody else on the ground would rather do that. I mean, you might be the best person to do that, though. I mean, you can slice one open. So can you. No, I have other things I need to Take do. Take the hover boots. I'm not enjoy taking... It. One, my feet are ridiculously bigger than yours. Well, I'm sure you can mod them. You want me to tear apart your boots? Well, if you put them back together. I'm not going to be able to put them back together. Well, then I guess you're not taking them. Thank you. There we go. See, you great. can take the glider. You'll fit that. I'm not flying in anything. I'm not flying. I'm not hovering. I just feel like I'm better in the air. By this time, I'm on my third bottle of wine in reserve. <laughs> Twelve hours have passed. <laughs> it's Twelve minutes of flat pass, and he's on his third bottle. Oh my gosh, get stop drinking for a mission, please. Oh, he needs to. Orla's going to have to give me a breathalyzer before we leave. <laughs> Neuralizer is more like it. <laughs> One of these days, Kara's going to replace all the booze with non-alcoholic. He'll know. He'll know. Like, I wouldn't notice. <laughs> okay. I'll use the force. This is alcoholic. I, I gotta take an next one. People flying information with me are way less likely to be shot than other people, and I don't want to get these people shot. Yeah, but what happens if you get shot, Andon? Well, then, if I have to bail, I'll have hover boots, so... <laughs> and a glider and a parachute. I don't have a glider in the X-Wing. It does not fit in my little takeaway bag. So, are we going in guns a-blazing? I don't think we should go in guns a-blazing. I think we should try and sneak in or something. Us, the ground troop or whatever. You, you realize that the only thing you've got to be careful about is you don't want to bomb the facility so badly that any information that you could gain from it is is uh you know floating up in ashes well my think... sorry go ahead. well i was going to say i think our best uh, you know best plan overall is that yes i believe andon's going to be best in his ship to you know suppress the smaller threats we can use the Liberator to take out the larger threats like the turrets and bombard it and secure the perimeter so that way we can breach the internal without actually damaging the facility. We have enough firepower and you know we can strafe and we can do things of that nature to take out the AT and the munitions and you know so that way we can then once we have the perimeter secure we can breach with uh, a contingent of you know, Marines outright, I don't like committing the full entire brunt of the force uh, out, outright. I'd still like to skirmish in and then move in. Well, my idea was to, I don't know if we put Kara in the spirit or on the, because I think we'll want her off the Liberator before that, mm -hmm. but get her on the sensors, picking out turret emplacements, we can launch torps from beyond our sensor range. So all you got to do is pipe us that information. We can hit the torps definitely before any walkers could hit us and p perhaps before any turrets could hit us. So, so basically we're ghosting in. Yeah, we'll ghost in, long-range bombardment, and then at least we've got a leg up once the actual furball starts. I'm not against I've got it. an idea that's a hell of a lot riskier, but man. Is it more fun? Totally. <laughs> I'm listening. 
land on there in the wayward spirit saying once again that we are here to oversee and that we were sent by their bosses to oversee the evacuation that the rebel fleet has been tipped off and then the bigger ship can come in a little bit later to try to back up that claim meanwhile while we're waiting for that we sabotage it from the inside while i like that idea and still the info I feel like we don't quite know enough about what's going on to be believable. Even you. But I know a guy that used to work there. I thought you already knew a hut today. No, that knew the hut a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> um, well, we could at least sneak in, and I would, I would trust that Mr. Koska here would definitely, if we get caught, could at least stall them enough that we could at least have our targeting set up and you could just start your assault. You I know, will... maybe if we keep them distracted, IG can try to hijack an ATAT or something of that nature. Someone else can try to sabotage any ion cannons. And Cosket, you just have to get me into somewhere where I can go with some Zabrak to a laboratory. Alright, so how about we hybridize the plan? Okay, Kara, your personal fantasies can wait. No! <laughs> Cosket, this is what I saw when I was meditating. A big Bad. sweaty zabrak. <laughs> oh my! Here's going to need to be inside oh, the facility. I've been meditating for many years now. I've been <laughs> meditating since I was like 16. Uh. <laughs> I used to meditate like twice a day when I was 12. One of um, these days, I swear <laughs> I'm going to drop something on all of your heads. I'd like to make the point of an emotion that I am not involved in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, this line of good conversation. No comment, Doc. Um, how about we hybridize the plans? We send, uh, and I hate that we send the spirit without me on it, which means you're, I'm holding all, each and every one of you personally responsible in as the people that are uh, overseeing this. Oh, From can we replace you with Crash? No, I need him in the next wing. From on board, you are able to, you know get readings on where the turrets are, you know, type beam that information out to me and hopefully they don't notice or they think it's just you reporting to your superiors because you've encrypted it and then the X-Wings can strike and then we can bring the ship in. Or we bring the X-Wings in the ship at the same time but I don't think long-range bombardment is going to work once you guys are on the ground. That's too risky. Do you think we should get the information first, though, before we start, like... Well, can you, can you rig up a big red button so that when you guys start getting shot at, you just hit it and an alarm goes off and then the X-Wings swoop in? I could probably rig that up. Because we can probably just park at the edge of the system and then micro jump or something like that. I can probably do that. I can do a lot of things. I haven't... Yeah, I can do that. Let's see. Um... I guess I could do contraption, but I'd rather kind of save that. Well, you might you might not have to do contraption. You've got an engineering wing, right? Yeah, I could just do an engineering check or mechanics check or whatever. How's everyone else feeling about that plan? It's All doable. Right, so we go in, pretending to be overseeing the evacuation. evacuation, and we steal the info and then call you guys in. Yes. That works. But, Meanwhile, but, trying to sabotage any defenses. But yeah, Cosket, we mark where the defenses are so we can hit them from torp range, which is longer than sight, sensor, and gun range. Koskit, you got to get us a tour of the facility somehow. Well, if you see it over C, that shouldn't be yeah, too okay. But you've got to, as long as you've got a panic switch, you can hit so that the X wings come in if things get bad. How should we be dressed for this? I wish we had imperial uniforms. Oh, look at this destiny point I could use. I wish we had, a kit, like, after this op, before that cranky Celestin sends us on anything else, we're just taking a short hop over to somewhere to steal a Lambda shuttle full of officers, and then you can go worry, <laughs> and then we've got uniforms, and you can go work on uh, um, getting his transponder codes changed. You, you oh, I know, thought you were going to make some joke about all these naked guys. That'll be a good side day for you. Hey, there are a lot of Zabrax in the Imperial military. You can have the <gasps> uniforms. You can have the uniforms for a destiny point. That works. That works. A casket. You're going to have to paint IG in all primer gray, though, so he fits in. All right, IG, come here. What? 
<laughs> We're just putting some paint on you. I can take it off later, I promise. You can't wear your cape out. Yeah, you can't really wear your cape. All right, I'm not going. IG, please. Come on, not not even for the chance to work and add at if things go wrong. I'll give you an oil bath afterwards. You people are after the Zabrak. I was gonna say she'll rub your shoulders and ask you to <laughs> act like a Zabrak. You know. <laughs> I know that you and Doc need to spend some time in R and R before you feel better. What? You need a boyfriend, Kara. I know another guy. Well, the <laughs> last guy I talked no, to, you no made fun of, and I've only dated like two other guys before that, and that didn't even go anywhere. Well, the last guy you talked to was a dork. <laughs> dork, Andon. Okay, well, well, I am a respected yeah, squadron leader. Well, squadron leader, at can least. We, can we not talk about my personal life? Alright, well, let's go get this paint job done, and I'm going to need some knockout grenades. For when Kara swoons? <sighs> no. And I swear. So who all is going to be in the landing party? Me. Kara. Cosket. Kara, Kara Cosket IG. Okay. Lorelai? No? No, we still need somebody on the ship to coordinate our mm -hmm. strike. Okay. So, by the way, Matt, yes. uh, do, do our uh, gunners get a uh, boost out on, their, on this combat? Uh, is it you're off? Uh, uh, is your downtime? That's what yeah. you chose for downtime. So yes. Yeah, right. I've got a sniper. I've not even introduced yet. That I've all, all I've done is give him experience points. I haven't done anything because I'm garbage. Yeah, uh, Taylor, you got a pilot we can borrow to some extent, or is there anyone that can pass off as a pilot to this ship? I, you're land. not going to need to do any fancy flying unless things go bad, and then we're here to rescue you, so hopefully you don't need to just have Kara fly it. I can I can probably fly this. Um, probably. Yeah, I can, I can fly this. I could do this. I can fly. I'm not bad. No offense, Andon, but I don't really go for women drivers, if you know what I mean. Why? Like, excuse me? <laughs> you're, you're as bigoted as her. I literally have, like, a meter and a half on you. I can squish you into the ground, Cosket. I will. I will fight just you. Just like the ship, right? Just right into the ground. Let's just go do this before anyone else insults me today. Okay, now we are talking about your personal life again. What? <laughs> Let's just go do this. <laughs> Kara's just gonna like start storming off to the spirit. Andon's going to fake storm off to his pilots <laughs> and put them on what's going on. I'm just going to sh shrug and take another swig. Hey, okay. <laughs> All right. Akoska's going to get in the spirit, and Kara's just going to be like going through all the uh, pre flight checks and like muttering to herself. And <gasps> I can use my so diplomat's robes. Matt, can I go ahead and make my leadership to give the see if I can get a boost to everybody? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, is that average or is it? Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do a uh, an. <laughs> An average check. I'm going to give you three setback die, but one okay. be one because um, th this is an inexperienced crew, and two because you're having to kind of catch them somewhat unawares on this situation, so they're okay, a little apprehensive get... about what's about to happen. Okay, and so using that, I also get the you know I subtract the two setback, so it's one setback, but I get the three advantage. So yeah, it's going to be a hell of a roll. <laughs> so. Uh, let's see here. Um, I you dude. get some boosts if you tell me what your speech is like. You might get some boosts. Uh, basically, you know, I, I will start out simple. You know, giving the you know here's 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 our primary, here's our secondary, uh, here's what we're going to do, um, and trying to do the inspiring rhetoric of you know we've been tried, we've been tested, we've We've been pressured, and now we are. Uh, uh, you know, now now that we've gotten the, you know, the cobwebs shook, and the you know that part, of everything else, you know, now we know where we stand, and we're going to get out there, and we're going to make a strike against the empire, you know, and um, 
you know, this may just be, you know, uh, this isn't going to be our grand day and, you know, this, but this will, you know, they will know our, the Liberator has conquered the day. I don't know. <laughs> All right, take a boost, add a boost. Sweet. Um, so, yay. Leadership, leadership, levels of leadership. Um, I'm not nice. Nice. Ah. Anybody else get an error message in their chat before that? No. Mm -mm. Huh. I'm back. Oh, I see. I see what it's wanting. It's wanting something from me. Yeah. Let me see if I can fix that. So that'll give everybody a boost for the next 24 hours. <laughs> Hey. To everything, or uh, it the way it works. Uh, if I make the leadership roll, uh, da, 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 pull this up real quick. Uh, this is in uh, to all discipline checks. Um, Sweet. And yeah, so all this goes for strain. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. That, so that helps uh, with. Uh, that helps with like, creating squads and squadrons, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can I mm -hmm. do something I've only used once before <clears throat> and take my bad press and um, try to do uh, something with that as far as uh, using my bad press talent on... Um, do we have the name on that Zabrik? Or was that our man? Was that, was that IG's dad? You haven't determined that yet. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying it hasn't happened as of now. She's just told yeah. you what she's seen. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I got a name, like a specific organization or such, which would be like uh, the name of the people who run the facility or someone who runs the facility, anything of that nature. What about like the Imperial Army? Because it says stormtrooper corps specific enough. Yes, if it was, if it was specifically the army, I could definitely choose the imperial army. Yeah, because that way you'll handle any grunts that aren't stormtroopers and any vehicle people. Um, so I want to make some bad press about the imperial army uh, and the route to wherever we're going, and get some, uh, you know, negative hollows and whatnot out there. Uh, uh, are you talking about across the ship? To influence the uh, no, it's more like if I can just get it out via hollow net or whatever to public or people or okay. just anything, even their superiors. Okay. Something to um, cause a, a panic and let the general public know that there's a secret imperial base there. Eh, kinda, yeah. Okay. Um, All right, bad press. So I have to make a hard deception check. Okay. Uh, I've not made any rolls in a while. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say that worked out for you. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> the Imperial Military, the Imperial Army is at it again. Uh, so, if I succeed, members of this organization have their wound thresholds reduced by one, plus one, per additional three successes. Or, um, yeah, successes. For, per additional three. So, that's the, their wound thresholds are reduced by two. Yes. Because they're the so the worried about all of this negative press that's out there that's coming in toward them. Yeah, plus, they know that the Rebellion knows about their base, so I suppose that yeah. would help, too. But yeah, yeah that, that helps as well. I, yeah, that's a great question. What do you do with the triumphs? Uh huh. In that case, I don't know. Four. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> try to look up the actual skill and make sure it doesn't provide for that. But otherwise, I don't have a clue. Maybe no, I have to read our first couple checks against them or something. I have the skill word down word by word. It doesn't have anything for triumphs. Just okay. The, just I didn't know if you had the full skill or just the abbreviated one in the. Hey, Koski, could I make a suggestion on the triumphs there? 
Yeah, of course. Uh, maybe you inspire somebody who's not quite loyal to the Empire that's working there. <gasps> to turn and tail. Yes. Like an addict commander. Like all, all this bad press is getting out, and they just want to wash their hands of this. Or, you know, like maybe knock some of the turrets offline at just the right moment. You're muted, hon. Ah, that, that's okay. up to Matt. What do you think about okay. that? Okay. I'm gonna. I'm making some notes here. Okay. Um. So, so someone on the inside. You want this to be affecting someone on the inside. In some way yes. that's favorable to you. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> well, I okay. I I will say okay with that. Uh, but less than specific description. All right. You've got a bridge crew member that comes up to you. Uh, she's kind of a very young uh, and uh, uh, inexperienced uh, looking military type person. And she says, uh, commanders, we are close to coming out of hyperspace. <laughs> And general quarters, and all necessary preparations. So. And your well-motivated crew is going to work mm -hmm. as uh, you kind of come out. You're wanting to come out. Uh, you're going to come out some distance from the planet, where at least immediately you would not be detected. But uh, it's probably only a matter of time with a ship this size. Regardless, it's you're going to be. It's going to be known that you're in the system. Um, so uh, you you come out of the tunnel. Uh, you see the star and the planet kind of suddenly push towards you very quickly, and uh, you're now sitting uh, quietly in space. I assume you're trying to maintain as much silence as you can. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get on the spirit and get this bucket in the air. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Do I have to make a piloting check? No. Okay, Yeah, I think you do. I think you do. <gasps> to, no. to, like, to, 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 like, get the ship out, out and navigate it out of this, out of this, out of this, the, um, it's just going to be easy. We'll make it an easy one, but to navigate it's it out one, of right? the ship. Yeah. Okay. Space? Uh, yes, pilot space. IG, can you help me? And to the ground we go. Yeah, so so not a lot happens, but she's she's kind of not used to experiencing uh, to maneuvering it, and as it's moving out of the landing bay, it kind of bam against one of the sides. Uh, and oh, I can, I can buffer that and out. Then, can, I can everybody shakes that a little bit. I had earlier. And, can you um, fix that? And, you don't take any system strain or whole trauma or anything like that, but uh, it's it's uh, oh it's a little nerve wracking for the people that are on the ship. But sh now you're on your way down toward the planet. Okay. Right. Prom you promise, not a scratch. Oh. <laughs> so I can buff it line. out. I can buff it out. <laughs> I've heard that line, you know, too many times on my from my real life. I can I can do it. I can do it. You guys, let's just land and do this. Cosket, I what am I here for? Why am I following you? Am I just your your? Should I get a data pad and look like I'm writing information down? Advisor, secretary, I don't know. Okay, I'll just nod my head a lot. So you're in the spirit. Yes. Not very long. Uh, you're not very far along the way until uh, you start getting a signal from uh, the planet, and um, uh, the signal says. Uh, uh, unidentified ship entering our system. Please identify yourself. Hey, do we happen to know the name of that advisor that we knocked off? Dracel, D R A S O L. Yes, you do. Um, sure. Which one was that? Were, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, were you there at the very end of the uh, the the force cannon stuff? Force cannon firing at the blue. I don't think you were there. I, th yeah, I think Hoskett was out that session. Yeah, yeah I, I think I think you were out. 
Which, by the way, I even though that episode of Rebels that had something like a Force Cannon in it was out at that point in time, I I had not seen it yet. I had no idea that that existed in Rebels. Just disclaimer there. <laughs> I still got to pick up episode or season two. Season two is excellent. It's 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 so good. I know, and I'm waiting for it to come out so I can go get it, but it's just, ugh, I can't find it. <laughs> hey, hey, Matt. Yes. Be- before I forget, I need to find a way to bring my lightsaber in here. Okay. Can't you just work. unscrew it from the end of the pole? Can I use contraption to make my, like, hilt collapse? And I could, like, keep it in my pocket? Or in my jacket? I thought I, it was I, detachable. I, no, it's just one big stick. So uh-huh. you want to you want to you, you, you want to make the whole pike collapsible? Yeah, like okay, like you know those lightsabers, the plastic ones. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Yeah, um, I, I gotta have enough spare parts around here. I I don't think you could get it to a point where it would fit in your pocket. I mean, you could, <laughs> might could make it like half size. Yeah, I don't think it's parts as or, much as it's physics. Or or you could decide, or you could, or you could, uh, you you could. You could disguise it as something else, uh, like a walking stick or something. You could do that. That works. I'll do that. That really makes me want to play that bounty hunter idea I had, where he had the lightsabers integrated into like sort of instead of like uh, Boba's wrist-mounted rocket, he just have like a wrist-mounted lightsaber that would I'm, be hidden in there. There's already a stat block for like assassin blades, so that's what I want to build a character that uses. We'll, we'll just we'll just disguise it. Okay. And that'll be. What kind of check? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. All right, let's was... let me look at Where your you your get? talent, and I'll tell you. Oh, it's I think it's hard. Duh. Yes, hard. The problem with me trying to access your sheet at the same time you do is that we we're both trying to control it, and it ends up scrolling all over the place. But if it's hard, it's hard. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, so you don't have a whole lot of time, but you manage to create something that kind of disguises it a little bit where it doesn't at least immediately look like a weapon. Okay. You, you put a few things on the end of it, and it looks a little bit more like it's a ceremonial type. Now, it's, now how you explain why you've got it is still an issue, but it doesn't at least immediately look threatening. Koskin, if anyone asks, I sometimes suffer from a limp or something. Of the brain. Cosket. <laughs> well, see, uh, we've we've killed many rebels and been in many battles, so you know. This is my trophy. No, no, I don't like that. Yeah, it's a walking uh, stick. You were wounded. Okay, that's a good one. I like that one. Thank you, thank you, Ig. Now, as you swoop down into the atmosphere, um, you, you continue to get. Request uh, to be identified from uh, from somewhere on the from this this building that's on the planet, this large facility that's that's sitting out in the jungle. Casket, talk to him. And you can so. begin to see, you can begin to make out what look like turrets that are turning towards you that are on the outside of the building. All right, quick, give me a name of a higher up imperial. A moth. Uh, Tarkin's already dead, ain't he? Tarkin is dead. <laughs> Do they, yeah. would, would they know? Would that be widely known that that advisor is dead, or that can be hush hush? You don't know. Well, use it. Why not? No, okay. Ooh. Uh. Sorry, my chair's so loud. Anyway, yes, I will um, say that we are here on uh, behalf of. What was this guy? Commander or an uh, informant or a advisor? Or a moth advisor? Yes. Imperial advisor Dracel. Yeah, okay. I'm, I remember that now. Okay, so we are here on behalf of Imperial advisor Dracel to oversee the uh, procedures of this base and make sure that uh, the precautions are being taken that are necessary after the information has been leaked to the rebellion about it. So you hear someone in a very prim, uh, imperial-sounding voice on the other end say, we weren't advised of anyone uh, uh, coming to the planet. Uh, please turn away immediately. 
I'm sorry, but I cannot do that. Orders are orders. Uh, turn away, please, immediately, or you will be destroyed. IG, what are we going to do? Tell them that uh, Imperial advisors aren't accustomed to explaining themselves to subordinates. Can I use the cutting question? <laughs> and try to coerce this guy into letting us land. Yes, yeah, sure. By threatening him sure. with uh, and yeah, imperial retaliation. Would your family be happy knowing that you died the death of a traitor that questioned his empire? And you know what happens to families of traitors? <laughs> Would they be uh, leaving knowing you died the death of a traitor? Well, what's going to be the difficulty on this one? Let's look at the skill here. At the talent. I'm going to have to take your character sheet for a second here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to... Uh, it's going to be two red and one purple. And then uh, because of the nature of this particular situation, I'm going to throw three setback into it. Uh, you might be able to offset some of those with some of your abilities. I don't know. Okay. Let's take a look. I've got three ranks of convincing demeanors, so that removes three setbacks. Okay. Wow. So they, even though these are exceptional circumstances, they don't influence uh, your cutting question at all here. So um, are we on a... Uh, all of it, or we just calm the. You're just audio on. Over? It's just audio. That's all it is. Ah, crap. Mm -hmm. I finally got Loom. I wanted to use it. Soon enough. <laughs> Soon enough. <laughs> finally. Okay, let's make sure if I got anything else to uh, go to this roll. Well, that's going to be relying on this. Let's you can use Destiny Point. Oh. Yeah, I say now would be a good time for that. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, okay. And uh, upgrade that check once. Got a boost from that, that, that. And the cutting question. Oh, thank God. Successful with some advantage. Thank the force. He says, uh, very well, uh, please uh, uh, land on the uh, landing pad. There's only one, and it's uh, immediately on the uh, top of the facility. I'm going to take out a big uh, breath of relief and wipe the sweat from my brow. Koskid, how are you going to explain the air bothin? Hey, the Imperial uses aliens if they're really, really good at what they do. Okay. That works. You you can convince anybody. You could convince someone to draw, to buy, like, an island on, like, Alderaan or something by now. So, yeah. Hey, I'm we just going to stand here. What are we you talking about? In. Alderaan has thousands of islands. <sighs> <laughs> and yet no beachfront property. My gosh. You realize we just flew into a top secret Imperial research facility and straight up bluffed our way into it. Yeah. So I think Again. we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah so okay. be careful flying, Kara, Ooh. because you're going to have to compensate for the weight of those enormous balls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Dura steel. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, my my chair's squeaky too. Yeah, we need to get some like WD forty. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'm going to land this ship. Yeah, the building begins to emerge uh, through the mist, and uh, you can see the landing pad on top of it. Fortunately, it's it's very large; won't be difficult for you to sit down on it. All right, good. And uh, so you manage a fairly not awkward landing of the ship, uh, perhaps not as professional as as uh, as others would want it to be, but but you managed to get it landed. Yay. And, the landing uh, gear, Kara. <laughs> I know what I'm doing a bit. 
and uh, there's a small party of uh, Imperial officers with a couple of stormtroopers beside them that come walking uh, out of a door on top of the building across towards your ship. Go ahead, Casket. Everyone, make sure you use your um, Imperial posture and act all, you know. Great. I'm, like, taller than these stormtroopers. Awkward. Okay. Rude and haughty. You'll be okay. They just right. they stand at the bottom of the landing platform. Uh, that no, nobody's weapons are drawn or anything, but they clearly appear a little bit nervous and uncertain about what's going on. And uh, right. they're waiting for you to come out. I'm gonna walk at a quick pace, uh, with, like some uh, proper imperial stance, with both of my arms uh, behind my back. Uh, assuming IG behind me as my bodyguard. Yes. As any guy who works for an Imperial advisor would do. And I'm carrying the heavy blaster, the uh, repeating blaster with me. We want to make sure these guys understand who they're dealing with here. We should get you an E-Web for when you're undercover, because that way you're carrying an Imperial heavy blaster. Yeah, we got a boss. And, so. Um... When I get uh, when I get to the bottom of the ramp, I'm going to go. Greetings, I am, and I'm going to name off one of the fake names I got from like my fake name list ages ago. Um, I need to talk to whoever is the leader of this establishment because there has been a breach in security that is of the utmost importance to the Empire. And uh, the the uh, the commander that's standing in front of the group uh, appears to very obviously be the person that's in charge. He's a human, a little bit shorter than normal, but looks fairly young. I mean, like uh, late twenties, maybe maybe thirty. Uh, very ambitious type looking. He says, uh, "Yes, I'm Commander Brolin. Uh, I'm the person in charge here. I, but I have I'm not sure I understand what pro, what security breach you're talking about." It's okay. It's from the most high up of Imperial. Uh, intelligence. And uh, I'm going to, instead of being as cocky as a human would be, I'm going to acknowledge that I'm an alien. I'm going to be a little less cocky than normal to try to give, I don't know, make him feel like he's not threatened and to put him at ease a little bit more so. All right. And uh, I'm going to explain to him the situation for which that the location of this base has been leaked to the rebellion and imperial intelligence reports that the rebellion fleet uh has a high probability of being on its way here to take any of the research or plans that this facility has and that evacuation protocols should be initiated rather quickly he says uh of course we're aware of all of that evacuation protocols have already been initiated and are in process right now were you not informed? No, of course I was informed. I'm here to oversee that. Apparently it's something very, very important to the Empire. He says, very well, we should be out within the next two hours, but I'll be happy to uh, show, you, uh, show you around if you like. That would be fantastic. If the protocols are underway, then we should have no problem here. I'd like to get off here and Go about my business as quickly as possible, too, but my boss urged me to stop by and oversee this. Apologies as, for the inconvenience. As you're saying that, that his, his focus kind of shifts from you to IG, who is standing behind you. And uh, you can tell he's, he's markedly surprised. Uh, he says, is that one of the 99 units? Uh, this old scrap... Sorry, IG. <laughs> oh, sorry, dear, dear, dear sport. Yes, this was uh, one that was repurposed from. Let's see, no, no, and then I like try to just start thinking back about how old he is and how long ago I uh, found him and repurposed him and etc. etc. Et I'm just BSing this pretty much. All right. He says. Uh... Uh, Dr. Koth will be very interested in seeing him, I'm sure. I'll notify him at once. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't really have anything to say to that. All right. That wouldn't make it look suspicious. All right. Uh, so he says, uh, if you would, then follow me. And he starts leading you toward uh, the door that leads off of the roof. Can uh, can Kara you seek? Uh, for, uh, how? In what way? Um, to try and get an idea of where this laboratory may be at in relation of the, um, where they are. Like not laboratory, but the. About the, the data pad. Yeah. Rule talks about something that's lost or forgotten. You're muted. Yeah, I can't tell if that's just a flavor text or not. Because the, the definition, the actual list says, person or object that he knows about regardless of current distance. Seeks uh, force users to find faraway things and shattery to shatter sensory tricks that might hide their quarry. So, like hunting down a beast or something. That's what that part of it's about. But Maybe like which hallway they need to turn down to or something. Like... Yeah. Um, y yes, you can do that. Are you for real? That's crazy. <laughs> do it. Use it. All right, so Kara's very, very nervous as you're walking in. She's just extremely nervous about what's going on. Um, uh, if, if we had a score, there'd be all of these low uh, sort of strings that are playing as you kind of look around. And and she's... she's um, And so when she tries to pull a draw from the force, the only thing that she can find there is like her anxiety and her uh, her fear about what's coming up in this situation. And uh, she can call on that if she wants to, but that's all that's available to her at the moment. She's just going to, like, pause mid-step and, like, shake her head, but then she's just going to keep following Koskit. Okay. Not not going to use it, but she's just, like, on edge really bad now. Okay. <sighs> Something's creeping me out. We haven't seen this, this doctor yet, have we? No. Okay, good. No, you have not. <sighs> You right, just let's, not stop thinking about him. Let's let's switch scenes now and go back uh, to the Liberator, and uh, 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 Andon and uh, Lorelai. Tell me what's going on there. Well, I assume that Andon and the Atarus would a be a really cool '80s band name, and b uh, take off in their X wings to kind of try to just sit closer to the planet, but hopefully out of sensor range where they can strike more quickly. Maybe they can park on a moon or something like that, while the Liberator stays, hopefully, away from sensors. Okay. Are, are there any instructions um, that you're giving your pilots in that process? Uh, just to stick with me, that we're waiting for sensor data to come through from Kara, and to, you know, stay cool, because we're going to blow half the stuff up before we get there, and then if they follow me through combat, they'll be okay. And there's a lot of chatter amongst the pilots. They're really curious about what you think is down there. What do, what do you think we're going to be facing? Um, an endless army of war droids that we're going to blast from the sky because we've got quad lasers and they don't. All right, sounds good enough. How about on the Liberator, Lorelai? Basically, just making sure everybody's prep. You know, on you know, just ready to hit the big red button to fire off and start the assault and just keeping everybody you know to hold the line and you know not have itchy trigger fingers and have a premature <laughs> act right. so you've got a little bit of a picture uh, from your bridge crew as well about uh, what the facility looks like now it does very much meet the description that Masa C gave you uh, you've got an indication that there's uh, at least four or five heavy like capital ship type turrets that are sitting up on top of the building um, there is no indication of any kind of air uh, air support x-wings yeah i mean x-wings tie fighters anything like that uh but there's definitely some large uh, mechs that are moving around inside the mist in that jungle around the facility looks like maybe some They're kind of patrol, patrol type pattern and so they're 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 expecting a 
but you know more of a ground assault and with and a big ship bombardment not necessarily you know uh okay so i give it the uh you give with all the weapons officers and uh, any other the command crew and start to basically have them go over their firing solutions and make sure they, you know, concentrate their fire for more kind of a, you know, pinpoint surgical strike than, you know, just make a big crater, you know, that, that, that sort of thing. And just make sure that we've got it all fine-tuned, okay. I guess. All right. What, are, what kind of things are you thinking about hitting? Well, obviously the turrets are going to be the one, one especially, you know, um, and despite, you know, just being just the capital ship aspect, just so the take doesn't basically looking for the taking out the anti-aircraft. Okay. Um, and then secondly, just, uh, you know, whatever, you know, look, looking for the power generator, I, you, know, <laughs> um, you know, basically also in ways that we could... If we can't hit the, we obviously the if we can't hit the mo moving targets of the ATATs, at least take it off where we're cutting off. They're going to have to, you know, really maneuver and be less of a threat. So, okay, trying to, you know, at least create a perimeter. You know, okay, that's what I'm looking to do. Okay, so back on the planet. Um, as as you enter into the facility, that it's just like miles and miles of hallways, uh, offices. Um, uh, it, it's at some points you can kind of glimpse pictures of what looks like a factory floor, uh, where uh, something like droids might be assembled, uh, some kind of sophisticated electronics uh, it, at least. Um, you do notice there's a lot of people that are carrying crates and boxes and they're moving them up onto the roof um, and you occasionally hear people that are walking beside you mention uh, evacuation task force, we need to be ready when it arrives, uh, those kinds of conversations. Um, as, as to his part, Commander Brolin is just kind of pointing out uh, some of the different rooms and things that are located in the facility. He often comments and remarks about how it's a shame that it's going to be lost because of its state-of-the-art nature. But uh, there's not a whole lot to be done. Uh, the, the data was lost uh, apparently by some very careless uh, agents that were operating in a slightly different uh, field of operations than this. And so but we've, we, we have to do what we have to do is basically his attitude about it. Coskett will nod approvingly at everything he says. Kara will nod as well. And uh, as you're moving through the facility, uh, someone happens to uh, stop by and offer a report up to Commander Brolin. He mentions that our latest uh, indication from uh, the uh, task, the evacuation task force is that they'll be present uh, within the next two hours. Fantastic. <sighs> um, has he uh, came and showed us where the, uh, I, I suppose, like the command or the defense room would be that would have their uh, sensors and all that? And uh, because I want to, I want to put some specific uh, or ask him some specific questions about that. Uh, how many turns they have? Are they all online? How far out can these sensors see in case the in case the uh, fleet comes? Uh, how far out can they be before we get a good reading on them and can prepare accordingly? Okay. Um, he has not shown you the command center yet for the facility. Uh, do, do you want to ask him to take you there? Uh, yes, because um, er, the evacuation looks like it's going uh, well. Uh, I'm, my next concern would be making sure that the, the base can have at least some defense while the remaining um, things get evacuated, essentially. So uh, 
temporary, yeah, making sure the defenses are going to hold until this place is evacuated will be my next uh, protocol. So he, he takes you through the facility. Uh, you walk into the command center. There's a, a large uh, sort of uh, panel that's in the center of it that kind of has a countdown on it. It's showing now something that would be the equivalent of about an hour and 40, hour and 45 minutes, and it's going down from there. Uh, everybody seems to be intensely focused on uh, putting things together, boxing them up, carrying them out. Uh, getting them at places where they can easily be loaded onto transports. Um, you do see, as you look around, some displays that appear to sh give you some information about the different uh, defenses in the room as he's continuing to speak with you. Well, Kara, do you see anything that fancies you? Well, sir, everything is fancy here. Oh, Good Imperial tech. Um, Kara's just going to like tap at her data pad. I don't even think it's done. She's like, she's just so like awkward and nervous and like. I'm going to, uh, uh, if she does that, I'm going to like uh, give her whatever an Imperial name would be. Like, uh, I don't know, MK MK372. <laughs> okay. All right. And, uh, yeah, MK372, did sir, you hear what this man is saying? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I was overwhelmed by this amazing technology that the Empire has made. What? My apologies, sir. <sighs> These new mechanics straight out of the Academy, I swear. It's overwhelming, sirs. <laughs> God. <clears throat> Kara's got like this stupid, like she's trying not to smile because I guess Imperials don't smile. And so she's like trying to be all straight laced and uppity. Ugh. Okay. Apologies, sir. Should I be writing these this information down? Just making sure all the motivators are good. Of course, sir. It does look like, uh, from looking at the displays, as uh, she kind of uses that excuse to walk over there, there's probably about six, there, there are six turrets that are s s positioned at various points across the top of the building. Uh, they're currently manned and energized. They're on kind of a, a high alert type status at the base right now. Mm. And Oh man, this would be a terrible time for something to spill on this console. <laughs> okay. Destiny. So point. let's go move to some bad motivator. <laughs> okay. All right. How's that? This is hard, right? I should know this off like this off of my freaking head. Yeah, yeah I, do, I do not remember, but I, th I think it's hard. And here we go. Oh. Okay, wait. I don't need those force die on there. Yeah, you don't need the force <laughs> die on there, but you're still not going to succeed. Um, well, thankfully I have um second chances. Natural tinkerer, yeah. So that gives you the whole thing again? Yes. Okay. And let's see here. Is there any way I can use touch fate? Uh, touch of fate just adds two boost. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. you have to do the same roll again, don't you? You do have to do the it same roll again. It just says re-roll mechanics check, so... I'll, I'll okay. let you do it this time. Okay. Oh, let the force be with me. Skills. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kara walks over there all wide-eyed at this wonderful tech and as she's looking at it somebody must have left like a cup of calf or something on there and just gently it falls over onto the thing and then it starts sparking up and and alright and 
Yeah, and uh, immediately sort of a couple of people that are sitting there in nearby chairs jump over and start looking at it and poking at the screen, and they look up at uh, Commander Brolin, and they say, Commander, uh, turrets 2 and 3 are offline. I'm going to face palm. <laughs> and, uh, hey, Kara didn't do anything. I look over and say, MK, what was your number? I Kara didn't do anything though. The calf, the calf, the, the soda. MK 472, down. get over there and sir. help them repair those uh, turrets. Make sure they stay down. Of course, <laughs> sir, I will. Thank you, sir. She gives like a like a nice crisp imperial salute and runs over there, and she looks at one of the officers and goes, "Sir, I'm a graduate of the Coronet University." Um, engineering department and she's going to go off on this spiel about like her education and I'm go off on a spiel about whoever left the calf there should be uh, detained <laughs> and Kara's going to use her knowledge of uh, I don't know a bunch of people that she knows at this university and she's going to like get underneath the machine and start like trying to wire stuff up to fix it and is there any way with that triumph that I can make it look like it's fixed, but it's not. Yes. Okay. You can spend the triumph to do that. Okay, That kind of cool. during this process. <clears throat> now, at about this time, I, and I'm going to go ahead and spend a destiny point on this. <gasps> oh, no. Imperial March music starts playing. At about this time, uh, the comm panel begins to blink, and one of the officers that's in the command center turns around and says, uh, Commander Brolin, the uh, admiral in charge of the evacuation task force wants to speak to you immediately. Fuck. And <laughs> Let's turned, hit that button. Hit he that. says, uh, he yeah. says, very well, um, I'll take it here. And he steps over and across to where uh, a holo holo hologram about this, this size appears. And in... Uh, the hologram, you see what looks like an Imperial Admiral, and he says, uh, is everything going well for the evacuation, uh, Commander? And he says, yes, things are going very well. Uh, in fact, uh, we've received your uh, advanced uh, party to, uh, to assist in this. And he, um, he, he says uh, they arrived uh, probably about 30 minutes ago. Do you want to speak with them? God, I should have used bad motivator for this. And... and uh, and the and Commander Brolin just kind of turns around and looks at you, and his lips begin to part, and uh, a growing realization uh, begins to come into his eyes. And we're going to stop there for tonight. Oh. <laughs> I was going to throw something up against that holocom. I was just going to turn to IG and tell him to mow everybody down. I mean, that was my go-to. No. Um, that was what I was typing at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he, you know, he recognizes what's going on, and I just go checkmate, and IG just moves me down. That would be great. God, I've done nothing with my contribution. All right. Yeah, Koskett's uh, definitely going to get about three plus what is it? Three plus four now. Is it plus four on your on your ability, Koskett? I think it's plus three. Plus three, plus three, so we'll get get him up to eighteen. No combat for IG. Uh, no space superiority for Andon. No knowledge for Kira. But we'll do another three plus three for Lorelai. Mm -hmm. To thirty-four. What is that, Taylor? Oh. And that gets us to eighteen. For well, it's plus twelve for the previous one, so that gets you to eighty. Then uh, we'll give you uh, a five base points and five for getting into the base and uh, five for not getting yourself killed yet for 15 XP. <laughs> hey, now. For yes. tonight. But, uh, yeah, we've got another session to go on this one still. So, All right, going to stop the stream. Thanks uh, for anybody that's Peace watching out. later on YouTube. And Peace out, Girl night. Scouts.